We've got a very special and an important one now, my friends. This is a brilliant one. This is an award for those who take absolutely no bullshit from others whatsoever. It's for those who have a vision and who do everything they can to make it happen. It's for those whose music runs through the very core of what they do. It's an award for those who are trailblazers and for those who we are very grateful that they exist. It's the NME Icon Award. And to present it this year, please welcome on stage Jenny Beth from Savages. Hi. The first time I spoke with Shirley Manson, she said to me that she joined her first band at school simply for want of uh, something better to do that summer. I stumble into music from pillar to post, she said to me. And yet, here we are now, looking at an incredible long 35 year career in music. And years later, when she started a fresh in a new country in a new band, Garbage, came an outpouring of songs that met international success and defined rock radio for an era. But beyond that, Shirley herself defined an aesthetic, an attitude for women and men who felt different about themselves and the world. And to this day, an inspiration to push open the doors that are usually kept slammed shut. Often when musicians get famous, they enjoy the feeling of being special. They get awards like this, for instance, and they might start to think they're not ordinary after all. But not surely. Fame hasn't changed who she is. It hasn't changed her beliefs. And my God, it even hasn't changed her accent. And I might just follow her example on that. Now, I am honored to hand the 2018 NME Icon Award to a woman. Thank you. And I hope this marks the beginning of an era for music journalism and beyond, where women can enjoy long careers and remain as vivid and as relevant today as they were when the world first recognized them. Because when I think of Shirley Manson, I know there is grace and strength for a woman through every stage of her life and career. And that I know that I can do and be whoever the fuck I want. And now let's hear in action.
Well, we know this is going to come in handy. Um, in all seriousness, thank you so much. I am so thrilled to be here. I have um, been reading the NME and, in fact, featured in the NME from as far back as the mid-80s, which is probably before most of y'all were born and, in fact, most of your parents were born. So I have a long-standing relationship with this magazine. To be recognised by them feels really grown up and surreal and, uh, I don't know, legitimate in some bizarre way. Um, I also want to give a shout out to all the music writers who dedicate their lives to analysing, criticising, lauding, magnifying what we all do, who we are in this room. Uh, without music writers, we would be a pretty sad bunch of normal people that sort of spend most of our days at home feeling we're not good enough. And then occasionally we get to read these incredible articles in these well-written magazines and for one second we think anything is possible. I need to thank my band, Butch, Duke and Steve, without whom I would not be here. I want to thank Corder Marshall, who mentored our career from back in the beginning, the best a and man in the business, if you ask me. I want to thank Murray Chalmers, who's been looking after me since, again, the mid-80s, um, when uh, we went to an EMI conference and I have spent the night with a member of uh, Brother Beyond. Uh, and finally, it would be remiss of me not to say something about being a woman, being a woman who makes music, being a woman in rock, just being a female identifying person. This has been an incredibly sad rollout in some regards the last 18 months. I think we're all shocked. Any decent person is pretty shocked by the statistics surrounding not only violence that women face, not only sexual assault that we face, but the lack of representation we enjoy in industry. Um, being that this is a music awards, I'm going to focus entirely on that. The fact that women at my level enjoy under 7% representation is unacceptable. I call upon any musician in this room to stand up and really call out festivals for not representing women. In particular, women of, of colour, our black sisters. We need to make a change. It's vital. And then finally, I would just like to shout out to all the incredible musicians here tonight. All of you who came before me, who I have watched grow up and become successful in your own right. It's such a privilege to be here. I couldn't be more proud to be a member of the music community. I hope that you all enjoy a 35-year career too, because you all deserve it. But that's down to you. The future is yours. Fuck you all. Shirley Manson, everybody. The Icon Award winner.